Hello, Dr. Mintz here again. This is a case of an older woman that had uh, vaginal bleeding. Take a look at this CT. I'll give you a quick overview of it like that. I'm sure you have a diagnosis already or you've read it. So, looking down in the pelvis, see a un pretty unusual appearance. First of all, there is some free fluid, not a normal thing in an older woman and look at this large fluid attenuation area where is it it's in the endometrium so this is pretty much a fluid attenuation it may be a, a little higher let's get a quick measurement here 30 so it's a little higher than fluid so it's low attenuation soft tissue and what do you think of? Well, this is one of those things where it's a pretty straightforward differential. An older woman with anything in the endometrial cavity, it's the main concern is endometrial carcinoma. So that's the first three to five differential diagnoses. So when you see an older woman and anything is thickening the endometrium, you have to think about endometrial carcinoma. The fact that there's free fluid is more worrisome because maybe it has metastasized elsewhere in the peritoneal cavity. Then if you look a little closer, all of a sudden you realize, oh, this patient's got more problems than that because if you look at the bone, lytic lesion there in the L5 vertebra, big one in L4 also, something here in L3, thereabouts. Let's switch to a coronal view. And there you go. Now, sometimes you'll see a big mass in the pelvis, and it could be a fibroid uterus, which, as you've probably seen, is can be very huge. Or you just see something like that. And what is it? Because, because it's so large, the normal anatomic relationships aren't the way you'd expect. Sagittals can be very helpful in that situation. Sagittals really are a pretty good way to, to, to uh, depict the uterus. And you can see why here. It shows you the uterus coming down. Actually, you can get a nice little shot of the Foley catheter going into the bladder. And you get a sense of the lower uterine segment and cervix turning toward the vagina there. Very good demonstration of uterine anatomy. So remember to use those sagittals. They're very helpful. This is an unusual appearance of metastases at three successive levels. It almost gives you the sense that they're extending across the disc space, but metastases rarely extend across the disc space. So there you have it. This is endometrial carcinoma, I presume. I don't have the pathology, but uh, it's far and away the most likely diagnosis here.